Case by Green Day. In this tutorial, I'm going to be tuned down by half a step, so I'm going to be in E flat tuning, and therefore my tuner notes are E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. And therefore, what I'm actually playing are most of the diatonic chords in the key of E. therefore I'm on the dots. If you want to stay in standard tuning, just move everything that we're doing down by one fret and it will be exactly the same thing. But the chords that we're using for the intro are an E power chord at the seventh fret, which sounds like an E flat because of the tuning, but we're gonna call these by the fretted names, which would just be an E5 in this case. You can play every one of these power chords with two strings, so with two fingers, or with three. Adding the little finger simply adds the octave of the root note. As you can see, three fingers or two fingers, it doesn't make much of a difference to the sound, so personal preference can be fine. I'm going to demo these with two fingers. So the first chord would be an E5 at the seventh fret and ninth fret. Moving physically higher to string six and five, same frets. Then the fourth fret and the sixth fret, which would be a C sharp five. C sharp root note there, to a G sharp 5, which again is physically up. So we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, then we have A at the 5th fret, back to E, and then to a B. So the chords that we played for the intro and the verse, E5, B5, C sharp 5, G sharp 5, A5, back to the E5, and B5. You can play those with two fingers or three fingers, it doesn't matter, and all the five shows us is that it's a power chord we're playing. It doesn't have, it just does the root note and the fifth note of that chord. It doesn't have the major or minor third because these are just power chords. From when the band joins in, so let's just go for example from uh, verse two, I went to a shrink to analyze my dreams. The strumming pattern there would be, and I think we should do it in this order, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Down, 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 up, down, up. On that up strum, that is where we would change chord every time. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. That was down, 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 up, down, up. That would be exactly the same for the chorus, where the chords are the A power chord at the 5th fret, B power chord at the 7th fret, and the E. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. A, B, E. Otherwise known as the 1, 4, and 5 in the key of E. Same strumming pattern, down, 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 up, down, up. When you're changing chord, you want to try and slide as much as possible and keep your fingers down. I didn't lift my fingers off. We just slide from one chord to the other. When we change strings, you can lift your fingers up and go like this, which would re uh, create the open string sound. It's a very punk thing to do. You really only want the thickest kind of string to ring out. So the thickest string. Mm. 
Sounds very punk and it's absolutely fine to do that. Or you could just try and slide without lifting your fingers off, um, which both ways are incredibly useful. Towards the end of the chorus, we have this section. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm that was all keeps adding up, same as we've done before. E, moving back uh, one fret to the D sharp. Power chord at the sixth fret, and then to fourth fret the C sharp. to the next section, so that was... That section is the E power chord, the B power chord down here, then to 4th fret and C sharp minor chord, so I would actually let the uh, minor bit ring out there, so not a power chord, but a power chord would be totally fine. And we're basically playing down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Like up, down for each chord. The intro has all those same chords, but it's to a palm muted pattern. So the basic pattern is two palm mutes and then an open and that happens twice. Palm mute, and remember this palm muted sound is the outside of the palm of your hand just inside the bridge on this area just here which creates this chugging sound uh, which I've got a few lessons on which are free on YouTube. Two palm mutes and then open so we just lift off the palm of the hand. There. One, two, three, one, two, three. There's two ways to learn that. I'll put it on screen which ones are palm muted and which ones aren't, but also you've got the sound of it. Both are incredibly useful. To talk you through it one last time, so two palm mutes and open. Same again. One palm mute of the E, then change to B, open. Two palm mutes, open, three palm mutes, open, palm mutes. Go off the rhythm. Slightly more palm muted on the B5. You've got the visual there of the uh, whether it's palm muted or not. And then you've also got the sound to really help you out. Exactly the same rhythm. Uh, until. The heavier section where the drums kick in, which we've already covered. For the ending, we have the following riff. So this is two notes from an E major chord, and then we play an E sus4, just over two strings. 7th fret and 6th fret. Then it's a power chord, and then add the little finger to that power chord on the C sharp power chord there. A, E, B. And that 
would be our ending A, E, and B. That's how to play Basket Case by Green Day. You can check out more free Green Day tutorials on YouTube, on my Andy Guitar website, and on the Andy Guitar app. Um, there'll be links to chord sheets and a songbook in the description below. Please check out my other tutorials and subscribe on YouTube if you haven't already.